Hello everyone. Welcome to VA Tech Talks. In this lecture, we are going to learn service now integration by using MuleSoft. So in order to integrate service now, so first you need to create one service now account, okay? And you need to get instance name and instance URL. So for this, what you can do, you can go to our YouTube channel. You can click on playlist. So here I have created one playlist called MuleSoft with service now integration. So here you can learn how to create, how to create service now developer account. Okay. So as soon as if you create an account, okay, you will get this URL. Okay. First we need to log in into this URL. So the username and password you need to provide. See, once you log in, you can able to see you can able to see this welcome page. Okay, this welcome page. Here, if you want to create any incident, click on all and in the search button, right? Okay, in the search bar, you can type incident or incidents. Okay, so if you want to create new incident, okay, you can create here. This one has a new incident. So if you want to cancel, you can cancel it. If you want to see all the incidents, just click on all here, okay? So here you can see, see these are the default incidents. So in this video, we are going to see how to, how to fetch this incident values, okay? Open any Punch Studio create new project. So the project name, I'm going to keep it as VA Tech Service Now Integration. Okay, Service Now Integration. So click on Finish. So once the project is created, so what is the first step we need to do, okay? Just add the listener here. Okay, just add the listener. So click on this plus button. Give the port number as 8081. Now, you need to provide the path for testing purpose, okay? Here I'm going to give us service now. Service now is the path. Okay, just save it. So the next one is just add the logger here. So this is my understanding purpose. Okay. Service now API triggered or started. Okay, whatever it is. Just save it now. So in order to integrate service now, click on search and exchange. Okay, click on this search and exchange and type service now here. So it's very important. So how to add the module? Okay. Select this service now connector. Click on add. Okay. Click on finish. So as soon as it is going to complete, so here you can see. So here you can see 
service now. See here, service now connector. Now, so the first thing is, I'm going to get the incident values here, okay? So how to fetch this incident values? So how to do that? So what you can do, click on service now, drag this invoke connector. Okay, drag this invoke connector. Double click on this one, click on this plus button. Now, here you need to provide your username and password. It's very important. Your username and password. So what is the username here? Admin. Okay. So what is the password? So this is my password. See here I'm hard coding the values. So if you want, you can keep the values into properties file and you can use the same. Okay. Now. You need to take that instance URL. It's like service address. Okay. So the same values you need to provide in. You need to provide in the transport tab also. So click on this basic authentication. So the username and password. Okay. The username and password you need to provide and click on this test connection. So if the test connection is successful, that means we are able to connect with service now API. Okay. See test connection is successful. Now click on OK. Now it's very important. Now it's very important. So here, what are the options we need to perform? Okay. So first, what we are doing, we are going to fetch the instance values. I mean, incident values. So here, just refresh or type, type incident. Okay. The service is incident. See, there are many things. See, there are many things. So there are many things here. So here mainly we are going to concentrate on only incident, okay? Just select the incident or type incident here. Okay, now. So here we are going to create the incident or we are going to fetch the incident value. So we are going to fetch. So in order to fetch, you need to select get records. Get records here. Okay, just do save it. Now, go to favorite. So before this, we need to pass the incident value, right? So how to pass this? Drag the transform message here. Drag the transform message. So in backend, all the service now APIs, okay, are going to connect with SOAP APIs. SOAP means, so, the APIs are going to accept the values in a XML format. Now, as of now, okay, see these are the values. Okay, in order to fetch, we need to provide an incident number. Just search number here. Just search number here. Okay, it is not coming. So, you can identify. Okay, see here. We can see number here. So, what you need to do? Just do double click. Just do double click. See, automatically, see, automatically, it is automatically it is added the values. Now, so as of now, what I will do? I'll hard code this value. Okay, I want to fetch. I can't launch my VPN. Okay, let me take this value. Okay, let me take this value. The double quotes just you can keep it okay as of now i'm going to keep it as a hard code value later i will change it to user friendly now take one more transform message 
for the results, okay? So here, I want the results in a JSON format. Keep it as payload. Okay, that's it. Now, you can run or you can do it in a debug mode. Okay, I'm going to run this entire project. So meanwhile, let me prepare, yeah. It's already there, localhost 8081 and service now. So let's wait for the application to be deployed into your local. See again, see there are so many incident numbers here. So every time we should not not code, okay? So as of now, for testing purpose, I have given like this. I'll tell you where to pass this value, okay? Okay, it is running. Just wait for a few seconds. Okay, you can use Postman or Thunder Client to test your application, okay? Click on send button. Okay, still it is not yet deployed. So we are doing it for very first time. So that is the reason it is taking some time, okay. Still it is deploying in local. Okay, now it is deployed. Okay, here you can see it is deployed. Now we can use this API. Now click on send button here. See, as soon as if we click on the send button, so what is happening? So we are getting all those values. So if you see description, see, short description. Short description, if you open this one, See, I can't launch my VPN. Client since the last software was updated. Okay. So whether we are able to treat those values successfully? Yes, we can able to. See, what is the incident and admin? Okay. So what is the severity? Hmm? What is the priority? Okay, these kind of things. See the number, the incident number. So everything. Everything we can see it here. But now, I want to pause this input. I want to pause this input via front end or postman or thunder client. So I want to pause it via query parameters. So how to do this? So this you know already incident number okay so incident number so what is the number this time i am going to take this number i am going to take this so you will get the previous number only because still we need to add this one so, okay, how to add this? Go to transform message. Go to transform message. So, here you can see, right? The number. It's from attributes. Attributes dot. 
query poems query poems dot the value in a ticket incident number so now what will happen so whenever you pause the value it will take as a dynamic and it will get the corresponding values okay it is loading now so it's very simple so what we need to do we need to use service now invoke connector so here you need to select here you need to select which service okay in back end everything it will be in a rest api sorry soap api the service now they are using so here you need to pause the values so in order to pause you need to use number so this number we are going to pause it here okay let's see so whether the application is started or not okay now uh, successfully it is started so what you can do you can go to thunder client and run this one okay still it is deploying it seems okay okay now we can see so the incident number 007 so what is the description see need to need access to sales db for the west okay now i'll change it to five suppose so this time you will get the different record so every time we are passing different request and we are getting the different results so this way we can integrate this way we can integrate service now by using milsoft so that's it for this video in the next video we are going to see how to create how to create this incident okay by using milsoft we are going to learn thanks for watching this happy learning we'll see you in another video